Lee Williams. I chose to do my merger on the Kraft and Heinz merger. It was a good move for both the companies at the time. They both benefited from it. And we'll get started. The Kraft and Heinz merger. The H.J. Heinz Company was one of the world's largest producer of healthy, convenient, and affordable foods like ketchup, sauces, meals, soups, snacks, and baby food. H.J. Heinz Company also produced Oidea, potato products, Weight Watchers, Smart Ones, and so forth. Kraft food, you know it well, as mac and cheese. They're among one of the uh, largest North American packaged food and beverage companies in it. Estimated annual revenue of $18 billion. That was in 2015. Now, you would think, what's one of the reasons for Kraft and Heinz to actually come together at this, being that they both make plenty of money? Well, the fact of it is, why make a dollar whenever you can make a hundred? And I think that's exactly what they went for here. And they continued their success together. The deal was valued together at $45 billion. Now you think that might be a lot at the time, but mind you, Kraft alone was making $18 billion in one year. Resulted in revenues of $28 billion in 2015. That's a good investment. The formation is one of the largest food and beverage firm in North America now. So Kraft was by itself, and now they are the top dog. Management is estimate that they will save $1.5 billion just by cutting out the people that they didn't need in the separate companies. The environment was that Heinz was to be considered the amount of debt that Kraft had, which whenever a big company like that has debt, it just means that their assets are a little bit higher than what they're selling right now. And uh, sometimes it's not a bad thing for taxes and stuff like that. but. At the time, Kraft wanted to settle the debt, and it seemed like an opportunity which they had to be a part of, and it was. In July 2015, the first rounds of cuts to Kraft Heinz employees was actually 5%. That's 46,000 employees. Whenever Kraft first came on with the merger, they told their employees that they were only going to be getting rid of 3%. Then of course that went to three and a half. And then by the time they figured out that they were gonna make money at this, they started raising the percentage and cutting out the middlemen until there was no longer the surplus of factory workers that they once had. According to Kraft Heinz spokesperson, Michael Mullen, the cuts are the part of the new structure that eliminates duplication, enabling faster decision-making and increased accountability with accelerated growth. Once again, it's just they're cutting out the guys that do the same stuff twice. There's no reason to check something if it's done right the first time. And they have enough people to do that. Craft shares increased from $21.83 per share to $83.15. That alone is why Kraft did the merger. You can say it's about debt, but really what they gained in stock of their company which all of the corporate owners of course own stock in their company they tripled their stock and they're getting more money from the hind side while getting the craft money both companies were able to keep their individual headquarters while still being considered emerged in pittsburgh and chicago the craft times merger this is a chart showing the difference in both of their revenue and equities in the two years. This just shows that the before the merger and after the merger were greater than anybody could have expected. It was a, uh, it was a large merger and everyone involved made money on it except for the 5% of employees that were cut, some of which were overhead and not just labor employees. The merger is considered a success, obviously, making Kraft Heinz the third largest company in food and beverage in North America, ranked 15th in the world. That's all I have for y'all.
You don't want to say any questions? No? No? I guess I'll pan you all around the room here. We will show this. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all.